checking for random. What the? As you proceed to the scorching depths, you spy a giant ant ahead of you. It doesn't seem to have noticed you. It's the a wave as if I'm uh, in search of something. You remember the request you agreed to do concerning the fruit that the ants like. This ant might be in search of that fruit right now. You can follow the end if you wish. Okay. I do not remember what the ant had. Now we just gotta wait for poison. Oh my god. I could self, uh, Hellfire, I guess. Alright, dismiss the beast then. We're gonna Hellfire. Wait, did it not? The egg dodged? Yes. Cancel the Hellfire? I'm an idiot then, never mind. We got a Flame Claw. But nothing from the egg. We got a flame called Burning Flur and the eggshell piece, but not the rare drop for the egg. What the fuck, game? <laughs> Lost the coin flip twice. Oh boy. If it's an ant, I think I know what it is. The weird thing for me right now is that I do not know where the bot, where it's supposed to go then. Because if this is only for the side quest, then that's. I'm gonna refresh Firewalk. I didn't see where the ant went. chasing the foe, yeah. We were supposed to, but I didn't see where it went. Oh, here it is. The question is, do I have the damage to maybe take it out? As you carefully watch the ant, it begins to frantically circle around one large tree. Could it be there's something in this tree? You take a step closer to get a look. The ant notices you. It advances, clicking its mandibles threateningly. As you hurriedly draw your weapons, the end, the enraged ant attacks. This is just a little guy. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for Gus to use that. Uh, that. So you're just going to eagle eye it. Dark Atheros. Yeah, 
It averages stats? Oh. Alright, pincushion. Limit. And the bunk. Spear poke. Quick draw. Dark other to the front row. Alright, it's dead. Alright, for a quest, it's not a true foe. Good to know. Um, so, I killed it? What is that? It dropped nothing. Wait, inspect. You approached the tree uh, that the ant was circling and sees silver color fruit and uh, burrows. Okay, so I was on the... It didn't... I forgot. It walked into me. I didn't walk into it. I thought I walked into it accidentally. These beautiful silver fruits must be the Pomona fruits that the client was asking for. And I climbed the tree and begins picking all the fruits in reach. Suddenly, Anna notices something uh, and yells down to the rest of the party. She's more ants from a uh, crying Pomona, uh, carrying Pomona fruit are moving on the path ahead. You can take the fruit you have now back to the bar or pursue the ants for more. I am Le Greed. It just reduces our evasion for the first turn. Yeah, first turn was just evasion lowered. Oh, wait, what? Mm. We still have attack water. I'll have it for the next rotation. This is not good now. I'm starting to see what could be an issue here. Dark out of the front row. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grim blow it up. So did Bang. You're finally 25, yeah! Okay, so... Grim, what is your last point going to? Or your newest point going to? If I have to guess, alertness, maybe? <laughs> Unbind. Oh, that's Monk. He was bound to allies. And then bang. One second. Wait, hold the fuck up. What? Huh. 
Uh, I want to look into this a bit later, but it's a text about a job. And it's with the police. Be honest, guys. <laughs> Do you think I would make in any way a good police person of any kind? Because I have zero faith in my own moral compass in the slightest. Not to mention the stress situation that would be in Clinton in that job. Red being a pretty cop. So many badges. I know, right? <laughs> With your eyesight? Hell no. You see, someone said it. There you go. Thank you. My eyesight is shit. I work with the police animal control a lot. Oh, you do? Shit. Nice. Oh, wait. I was looking up the fucking... And a good number of them should not be police. True. I understand that as well. Like, that is almost part of the joke that writes itself. Couldn't even watch probably, but good luck. All right, Angela, thanks for stopping by. But then again, you probably won't get some, uh, scared by an acorn. I mean, you never know. I could be that, like, rung up that the slightest thing will just scare the shit out of me. Who you never know. But I guess a part of the whole thing is also that if you want what's it called... That if you seek a position of power like that, I believe probably there's something that maybe you shouldn't use to have it. But at the same time, you need Tixer and Mindset to be able to like step into that role and actually do it properly. So maybe they know that they can do it. I just know I can't. I'd be awful. I'll look into if that's a legitimate thing, because I've already gotten a couple of texts and be like, that are out and out scams. I gotta find out how this thing got my phone number and if it's anything to look into before I even actually probably entertain the idea of turning it down because for all I know it'd be something else because I know I actually applied for a, a job as a technician as a fingerprint technician so it would be more for the um, uh, at least the position that I initially signed up for when I was trying to get a job and I just saw the post was for fingerprints and managing that those kind of things in, the da in their data entry so, like, maybe that's how they got my number and how I'm on the radar now, but I'm not sure. Just in case for some jobs. Oh, yeah, with some jobs, you need to. Also, I, I keep on putting my phone down thinking, all right, I saw what I needed. No, I need to go to Dracajack's thing. All right. I'm trying to get to level 30 here, and... You have... That was hanging on this bill. No. They only went quick draw. Actually, they were trying to get quick draw to 10, I think, maybe. Because Trickster is already maxed out. At level 30, Gun Mastery is still only rank 1, which I guess that makes sense. Eagle Eye is capped out. Lady Luck is at 3. No limit boost at all. Ninja. Of course, Mirage. Into one point into Bushin. But that's Nippon Double here. And nothing else. So yeah, they're just going entirely into a um, uh, quick draw. All for the level up for Drag Attack and Bang are going to be in quick draw. Just to try and get that to 10. It does turn eventually into two, uh, 2 to 5 times. And for all I know, the damage it gets pretty good. Limit boost for listening. If I have to guess, limit boost is like at maxed out. It's a little bit better than like the. That's probably a lot better than the weapon stuff, right? Than the weapon boost for limits. But I'm curious how many would it take to equal this limit boost, or is it like a one to one scenario? But I guess let's or just to conclude what I was talking about. I got a text about possibly a job opportunity with the police, and I do not believe I'd make a good police officer in the slightest. I believe I would fuck that up royally. 
Not only that, I do not think I actually am the kind of person that actually would want to be any sort of field officer. Not to mention, I don't have a license. Wait, did you just fuck? Wait, this one's not moving around that much. Is this... The same one? That's ant? Okay, well, I was curious because I don't know if it's the ant or a different one. It is the ant. It will antagonize Shim. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we can actually kill it very fast, just like that. You snatched the Pomona fruit the ants were carrying and stow them in your packs. Your packs are straining with the uh, fruit of your labor. The client will be happy. Your high spirits will only last for a short while before you realize something. There is an awful large number of ants around here. Their nest could be nearby. Still, ant eradication is not your goal right now, so you decide to leave quickly. Yeah, so there's a thing about there's a nest of ants around here somewhere, and right there, somewhere around here, is a... Shortcuts. So, how long it works? It is a 100 point system. Each in my turn gives a variable number of points depending on what you do. Each limit on weapon gives you one bonus point per turn. The Buccaneer skill can give you 2 to 10 points depending on level. It's actually quite powerful when maxed. Oh, you can't escape the puns. Nobody can! I think Max Buccaneer gets their limit every three to four turns. Jesus Christ. And that's assuming you don't have already things inside that, like, increases the limit as well. And also, if they're swashbuckling, they're probably getting even faster at that. Oh, you're not a... I thought you were the... Fuck. I thought it was another ant. Mud lurker. <laughs> All right, fuck. Survival above all else here. I'll get Hellfire for no fucking reason. That was not much damage done. You're gonna attack order, you're gonna heal. You're gonna quit draw. 
And you're gonna dark out of the front row because we're about to pin cushion. And then could have died there. Technically got it to half damage. I'm gonna quick draw because next turn we're gonna go for more damage again. Go for the legs, I guess? Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. This is very bad. We are all leg bind. It might do an AoE attack here then. It's probably more than likely going to do an AoE attack here. I'm going to see if I can DPS it down. I doubt it, but maybe. If I didn't miss. I could have actually maybe killed it right there. It no longer has the defense down, so eagle eye. Cushion again. Party heal. A separate heal. Quick draw and dark on the front. Er, dark out there. Yep. Got it. All right. I feel like it did not do its big attack, uh, thankfully. I feel like that could have been much worse. It did its combo? It did? Huh. We mashed out heal. Nice. Thank God. It does its head bind, which eradicates our healing, then we die. Yeah. It leg binded. didn't go on Gus, yeah. All of this is dangerous right here. Find a shortcut somewhere that would let me 
or even just like find the stairs, anything. Because right now I'm nearing the point where I think I actually am going to be walking backwards toward what I had previously. Oh. Fuck, yes, found one. Shirko was found. So thankfully, from either the stairs or this portal, we can just instantly go here and continue where we left off. Good. Let's try to... I should just run away right now. Thank God. Pincushion is just that good. Let's get out. He refused to. Yes, because fuck that. I'm going to get out and live. Two to let them know about. This is for the ice hammer. Welcome back. How did it go? Oh, so it really exists. So this is what she was talking about. So shiny. I'm sure this will make Belle happy. Maybe a knight on a flying horse will come for her. I doubt he'd be able to take her away, though. I mean, Belle's lived such a sheltered life that she weighs as much as a bell tower. G what the f- Wow! Jesus Christ! She'll probably have to lose some weight before she can even get out of her room. <laughs> well, this is definitely what she asked for. Here's your reward. Fuck. Game. And then you're so close. Welcome back. Whoa, you brought back a lot. Oh, you guys are greedy. So this is Pom... One of those. It's hard, Emma. Uh, and it has no particular odor. Anyway, I'll be sure to deliver it to Espire. Thank you for your hard work once more. Here's the reward. Well, I'm hoping to get to work together again. Medora times three. 16,000. Nice. All right, so. Replica. I'm assuming you want that ice star? Ice star? Alright. One point. Honestly, this, this other charge has already made so many things worth it. Just the ability for a bucking, uh, for pin cushion for Gus with his AOE heals and orders to not cost any TP is such a relief on the fucking team. It's so nice. Now I can go to concealment. Oh, to increase your evasion. Gotcha. And you're like, it's so good. <laughs> All right. Now for me, though. How's it going, Giltro? Welcome! It's really fun to have. It's just so nice, Shim. It's such a free skill and such a nice thing to have. Big time without caring. Yeah, it's really good. It never left the team. <laughs> I got too late to build a character today. Unfortunately, yes, Giltro. Well, not only we're not taking in the, any other characters, but... I think we have three teams now of units, so we're probably going to just stick with that until we eventually get the um, uh, egg droid. Alright. 
should I just upgrade Pincushion to 5? I don't know if it actually is enough of a damage boost for me to do it right now. You side with the Deep City? Yep, I did. We flipped a coin and it decided that we're going to go for the Deep City. Might want Trickster? I might. Yeah. But it's TP regen nonetheless. Mm hmm. Like, I remember when I thought I was gonna go for Swashbuckling, I was gonna go for what's it called? Like, Eagle Eye. Or Lady Luck to have a higher chance of crit rate, swashbuckling, and like maybe cash in on Gladiator's stun attack. Like I thought that's what I was going to do, but Pincushion is just surprisingly such like front loaded damage. It's insane how much it does. Coin flips, how big decisions with big consequences should always be made. It's what we do regularly on the channel, honestly. Whenever there's a yes or no choice or just one or two options, we flip the fake coin. A coin that I got from the game, the Guided Fate Paradox. It's just a coin with an angel and a devil on both sides. And I've used it since then, honestly. It actually worked out really well. I was tempted to. And a part of me still wonders like how good it could be. When Rev doesn't know what to do, Yigamba? I mean... That's how you have fun in life. You put your hands in your put your the fate of your life in just the hands of chance and go, what could possibly go wrong? At least you do that in a place where there's no consequence, such as video games. It wasn't damage, it was pure status nonsense with weapon uh, forges. But it worked with the party to trigger chasers on my, my front lines too. Nice. Yeah, hello. I'm sorry, you gotta go. <laughs> That'd be awful. Ended up stunning the final boss a couple times. Oh, I bet. Was swashbuckling proccing maybe a couple times to just like have multiple attacks? I'm curious how often you could just like get a bunch of attacks to happen at once. The problem I see with swashbuckling Doug, though is honestly just this. At level one, you can attack two times. All the way until level three or level eight. You can only attack twice max. Then it becomes three times. And then in two more levels, it becomes four times. Like, if it reached three at, like, around maybe four or five, I probably would have gone for it. Just to see if I could be the status ailment person, but... Or, like, the status disruption person, but no. So I decided to just go for damage with Pincushion. And just carry a fuck ton of Amritas. Turns out I don't need the Amritas at all, really. At least they're mainly for Gus to be able to state us. Smash a plus and the flip land on neither face. What? I've actually had that happen. How many of you guys actually were here and remember when I was at my old apartment in Texas? And I flipped the coin and the coin landed between my desk and the wall, like the leg, so it was vertically up. And it actually was like a neither option. Which is pretty worth it until maxed out. It's definitely not something I'd start out with, but the option is available later on if you want to respect for selling it. I might. Like, I'm assuming Bang and such are gonna, everyone else can be doing a lot of damage, so someone might be needing to step up, if only for CC and just other variety in the party. For the moment, though. How much does the damage go up by, I wonder? Um, fuck it. I'm going pincushion, let's go pincushion. Alright, I have a couple things to sell. Including this new foe item. Falchion. Bone Shield. Pierce Charm. Flame Book. 
no new items, no new accessories aside the Pierce Charm, which decreases the damage from Pierce attacks. And I'm kind of surprised the Bone Shield... I mean, it's more defense, I guess. Bang going to get pin cushion later. Oh, Bang is? All right. If they are going to get pin cushion later, then I might go into Buccaneer if only so I can, we could have variety. All right, that's good to know though. That means we're going to have to find him uh, the gun equivalent of the Jolly Roger so that way we can use that. Fire kind of needs him uh, when he's seen a pod. In 60 plus, yeah. The Predator Fang item requires five of the weapon alongside Flaming Fur. God damn. That. Huh. Two fire damage on a book with tech. Does that mean you have to bonk with the book to get the fire damage, or does it increase just fire damage altogether? Such as, say, if a Zodiac had it, would our fire spells be doing more? You have to bonk? That's... Why would you... Why would you have that on a book? The Hayakaze needs them a Pagoda Branches, and the Falchion is 81. Because funny, I mean, that only can cover so much, though. It's funny to throw the book at them. Yeah, everything but the kitchen sink. Alright. I'm... Nervous. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I went to the wrong place anyways. From Amar Road, we gotta go Forest Entrance into the um, uh, Molten Caves. Hmm. They need that to out of the wish they give you in this game? Really? Curious, what kind of good items do they give you? I mean, aside Yagrash. We got it, but Ennin didn't live to see it. Just gibbed on the first turn. <laughs> oh, I have no nectars. Actually, I shouldn't even use that. I should. I forgot. Gus is our actual healer. He has resurrection. I'm fucking stupid. I forgot about necromancy. Yeah, it's hard to remember that necromancy exists sometimes. Usually it does fire a mud. Usually first to die. It's the tradition. The white mage goes down first. If only to instill fear into the hearts of all that tried to play the game. I almost want to map out more. Wait, what's here? As you walk through the cavern's narrow paths, you stop, hearing a faint sound of water ahead. The cool sounds are too appealing to ignore as you venture through this un um, uh, unearthly heat. You are sorely tempted to search for the source of sound. Sure. 
You look around and you notice a few places where water may be flowing from. One of the small hole on a mossy rock at your feet. Another's upward, inside a crack in the wall above you. A third possible possibility is a large rock a few steps ahead, which may be blocking a spring. After narrowing the possibilities of these in my three areas, you ponder your next move. I move the nearby rock, inspect the crack on the wall. Move the rock. What's gonna happen? It's may it might be a spring. The party works as one to move the rock to the side. Unfortunately, all your hard work went for none. There was only a wall behind the rock. Move it again. You shake your head the obvious futility of trying the same place twice. <laughs> Fine game. Fuck you. There could have been another rock. <laughs> I'm gonna say the small hole then. You brush off the moss to find the hole is large enough for you to put both hands inside. You scoop, you scoop surprisingly cool and refreshing water from the spring inside the hole. Everyone recovers 50 HP, but no TP. Damn it. I don't know why I didn't fucking just pin cushion. Motherfucker! Goes through your head, Red. <laughs> A lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. Okay, so yeah, this was. One of these rooms. Again, we found a couple of these like that. At least I can not have to climb in there to see what else there is. Oh, wait, is that the... All right, we found the stairs that go down. So for part of me wants to actually like touch the next floor just to unlock what it does what it gives and then go back and like explore over here and everything and wait a second <coughs> The next floor can wait I will ignore an alarming amount of things just to... I'm gonna save Muyoken.
would have helped. I have the shortcut right here next to me, but... Oh, it's that square right there? No fucking way. Think we can still catch it? Because I honestly don't think we can. Hoping that it peeks out on this corner of like things. It's going back. Fuck. Maybe this will let me wrap around and be able to catch it. Before. Yeah, I'm trying to. Twitch, what the fuck is this long, just like trial of fire right here? You know what? Fuck it. I'm using him up. Muyokin. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna party heal. I'm gonna go for the elephant, though. Okay, good. Probably could use just general heal. Nothing on these walls either. Oh my god, really? There's nothing here? the shortcut oh I'm of course I did
Well, too late, dear Radica. I already did. Actually, wait, yeah, you're right, because it's... Oh, fuck. And here's another thing. I'm curious if that's a one way as well, though. There's something in the middle right there. The Sauron is still there, so I'm just gonna. It's a one way. And the round eggshell. Nice. Alright, here was something. And that one is properly a two way. A formaldehyde. And jack boots. HP and TP. This one. If it happens, it happens. If not, oh well. I don't have Firewalk anymore. Alright, the Psaron is nowhere to be seen. Oh, fuck.
And I do not know where it was last seen. Again, yeah, I'm gonna have to soon. I saw it was up here. I didn't see which way it turned. Grim leveled up, 26. And elephant. All right. I'm like trying to hug this side of the map, but I generally do not know where it is. So I'm just gonna say, fuck it. Let's get out of here then. We found the route to the next area and it's not even that far. That is two vitality boots. All right. Let's stay until the evening. Something smooth eggshells? Ah, gotcha. gonna I think I'm gonna stream right here actually guys about 20 minutes early but I am getting very hungry so I'm gonna get up stretch and just try to further establish the, uh, my current schedule as of this moment I'm trying to make sure that my body and everything always is ready for my current job sleep schedule that means getting up at around 9 to 9 30 and then by 10, I'm streaming until about usually 2. I can probably hit the gym and then be back by around 3. Try to eat something, make something to eat, do dishes, do everything I need to do. And then have about an hour or an hour and a half to myself to either edit the videos or something else. And then by 5, 5.30, I need to head out to go to work. 
until 1 a.m. And then I'm going to come back and crash. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. I'll see you guys on... Currently, it's set to... I Actually, I don't think I'm going to be streaming Wednesday. Because I'm going to be going out with my friends to celebrate my, uh, our birthdays. Dark's birthday is on the um, uh, 16th, and I'm on the 19th. So, actually expect a... Um, uh, a stream on Saturday to celebrate my birthday. Just like a random stream. I don't know what I'm going to play, if anything, but I want to stream on my birthday just to have fun and hang out with a few people that I know. But aside that, you might see a stream Thursday, actually. So, stay awesome. Hopefully, you'll let me continue one more time another time. See ya.